Theodore Roosevelt once said, comparison is a thief of joy. I really wish that I could come up with a saying like that. Comparison is a thief of joy. This pierces right through me. Whenever we compare our brokenness, our weakness, our wounds, our flaws, whether they be physical, intellectual, or spiritual, we lose sight of the gift that we are. We lose sight of our uniqueness. We dehumanize ourselves. A bit extreme, maybe, but hear me out. Each and every single one of us is uniquely and wonderfully made, intentionally loved into existence. We are created from love, by love, to love. We are all deserving to be treated with love and respect. I think we do a great job at pointing out the ways we dehumanize others in our culture today. But do we ever pause to think of the ways that we dehumanize ourselves? If each of us is created to love, that not only means love of neighbor, but also love of self. When we compare ourselves to someone or some certain expectation, we disregard our own humanity. We disregard the unique individual that we are. We rob ourselves of joy. Man, I wish I looked more like this person. If only I was more like that person. If only I could do this better. I wish I wasn't so short. Sense any love in these phrases? Feel any joy? This is coming from someone who has suffered for years because of comparison. There is one particular person that for so long I compared myself to. Looks, accomplishments, faith, everything. I never saw myself as enough during all that time. All I could focus on were the gifts, talents, beauty that I didn't possess. It made me blind to the gift that I was. One day, I read a quote by a great saint, St. Catherine of Siena. This quote helped shatter through all the lies that comparison brings with it. What is it you want to change? Your hair, your face, your body? Why? For God is so in love with all those things and he might weep when they're gone. I remember being brought to tears when I read it because for so long, I had been neglecting and rejecting the daughter that God so deeply loved and intentionally created. After this moment, I decided I need to take some serious steps to rid myself of this joy killer. I'd like to share three of those steps with you that have helped me to stop comparing and to start living. One, pray. I know, super predictable, but seriously, Prayer is a tool that builds intimacy with the one that created us. A prayer that I started to pray was, Lord, help me see me the way that you do and help me to see others as a gift. Two, take a break. I had to take a break from social media because it constantly led me to comparing my lows to others' highlights. Three, gratitude. Living in a spirit of gratitude, thanking God for creating me the way that he did, especially with the things I don't like about myself. I also began thanking him for the person that I would compare myself to, thanking him for the gift that they are. Every time we see a person we are tempted to compare ourselves to, let's stop and marvel at the gift that they are. I pray these three steps help you like they've helped me. Let's restore joy back into our lives. Never forget, you are enough, you are good, you are gifted, you are loved. Hey, click here to subscribe and here to check out more videos. Yes, we did it.